Hey everybody, this is Shelby with Bonding with Board Games. I'm in the middle of painting my Blood Rage. Chief keeps bugging me about it to show you what I got going on. I'm not 100% done, but he thought if I shot you a quick video and kind of show you what I'm doing, you might be interested. First we got some of the uh, monsters here, the big guys. They're a lot of fun to paint. They got a lot of detail on them and they're huge, which makes them really easy to do. They just kind of take a long time. You got little details. You got a little fire in their eyes and flaming sword. I got a little little lava down below him. Kind of some at his feet, which is pretty cool. They got little details on his back and flaming sword and little skulls in his hair. Looks pretty mean when you pop him on the board. Let's see. We got Fenrir, which is a Kickstarter character. Loki's wolf. He's pretty neat. He's got some change and detailing on him. Everything's pretty dark on him. He's standing on a rock. Pretty cool. One of the easier ones to paint, but it turned out really cool, was the Kraken. You pop him out on the water, he looks really evil. And I, I love how the water turns out. Just using the uh, glazes and washes from Citadels are pretty easy to do. But my daughter Olivia started him, and then I just tuned him up a little bit. He looks pretty cool on the board. Uh, got the troll out here. He's a troll. He got some grass down on his feet. Kind of dreadlocks with some gold detail in there. Pretty cool. Cool mini or not stuff. So neat. They got little bones and everything on the on his waistband there. Little teeth. Pretty neat. And the uh, guy I had a lot of trouble with, almost had to do him twice, was the frost giant. Just trying to get him to look like he's out in the cold. It's kind of hard to do. I actually have some salt down here on the base, some big chunky kosher salt trying to make it look like snow. And then his hair is all kind of frostbit. I didn't get his skin quite as light as I want, I just, so I just kind of made him kind of like he's dirty and cold. And he's got a big cool stone above his head. I thought that was really pretty, pretty neat. With a little hair detail on him everywhere. What, what? You got a booty hanging out. My kids are all, that's disgusting. Look at the hair down there. I'm like, well, he's a mountain frost giant. What are you going to do? Not wearing any clothes. It's cold outside. Got to grow his hair long. And then I've got, I think, four of the armies done. And they're just pretty basic. I tried to do some of the skin colors different, just so they stand out a little more. And then just have a little bit of sawdust and stuff on the base with some washes. Let's see, there's that guy. Got the Chicky Poo Army, I forget what they're called. Oh, her eyes are horrible, I need to redo that. I shouldn't show you that one. Hers aren't much better. I kind of quit doing eyeballs on some of them after a while. But from a distance, it looks really good. Usually don't hold them up to your face quite that much. But they have lots of neat detail on them too. Uh, let's see what we have here. We got the Spearmen. Which are just pretty neat, and the, uh, their shields are really awesome. How much detail are in those? And one thing before you paint your things, make sure your uh, your commanders and your armies match up, because these yahoos I had all done awesomely blue until I was done and realized, oh, this was the red army. That's awesome. Had to redo them. So that was not cool. What other? I guess I only have three armies currently. Now here's some other guys. Some little, these were also with the red guys. These are guys with hatchets. Little kind of mustaches on them. And they got some teeth hanging off. And their cloaks are really cool. All the bear fur and whatnot. And uh, here's their brown guys these were a kickstarter exclusive clan i think the wild boar clan which are pretty neat but just lots of cool little detailing you can kind of get them pretty close to looking really awesome then as much time as you want to spend on them you can you can spend on them i can't get his face to focus there but pretty neat even a little detailing on their gloves and stuff they got a little stuff going on uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, the, uh, here's there another commander, or I forget what the leaders are called. 
And I played this at Board Game Geek Convention, and it was super awesome. And I haven't played it again because I don't have it painted yet. I've been really wanting to get it painted before I get to the table, so I've got to get uh, a little more of that done. He's got some really cool detailing. And what happened on the guys that were the Blue Clan, <clears throat> I just kind of painted them all a blue just to make it easy. Because then I just had the faces and stuff to paint. So just kind of how I started out and then started detailing the different work on them, the little details. But eventually, here's their commander, I'm done with him. Eventually, that's what they'll look like. Just lots of cool silver and little tiny details in their armor. I mean, just really neat. I find this pretty relaxing to come home and if I got time, I'll turn on a Netflix and kind of listen to it as I watch, uh, well, I say listen to it because I'm painting and I'll look over occasionally and also while I'm doing that I'll do a little uh, scotch test dummy action from the chief got this glass from him that helps helps the painting go by so that's all I got done so far but as you can see I still got uh, the mystics to do I've got some the Kickstarter extras I got the wild boar clan done I got the fifth player stuff yet to do I got the gods of Asgard I was actually going to show you one of the gods I got done here she is. Well, that's it. Once again, this is Shelby with uh, Bonding with Board Games, and that's what I've got done on my Blood Rage so far.